Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, how are you? Good to see you again. How Good to see you, you again. I hate to toot my own horn, but I think I've got something that you're really going to like today. That's this the is... lamest joke I've ever heard uh, you I, say. I, I'm lame anyway. <laughs> I'm old. I'm lame. You know. I'm a military collector, and I got it in a garage sale in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. I hope they get four thousand dollars for it, but uh, and I'll, I would take two thousand. Definitely cool. Back in the day, if you had a pistol, you had a musket or anything else, you had a powder horn. Yeah, I mean, you didn't want to get ambushed by a bunch of guys shooting at you, and your powder's like mud. How would you use it, Grandpa? Well, you got a little measure. Mm -hmm. It's like a little metal cup. You pour the powder into it, and then you pour the powder into the musket. Put your wad in, which is a piece of cotton. Mm -hmm. Put the ball in and ram it home. Back in the day, everybody used horns like this to carry gunpowder. Since they're naturally waterproof and hollow inside, it's like nature provided the perfect tool. It's very unique. It's got good carvings. A lot of this stuff, even back in the day, was made as a decoration. I mean, I like how it has the pseudo eagle claw on the bottom of it. This is probably before 1800. Yeah. This is a federal motif. The federal party went away in about 1804, 1805. What are you looking to get out of it, my man? Well, I think it's worth about $4,000. I ain't paying 4000 Corey. Do you have any paperwork or anything you with know, it? I don't, because it was in a satchel in a garage sale that I picked up with a Union jacket. You still got the Union jacket? No, I have already disposed of that son of a gun. <laughs> I've sold powder horns for tens of thousands of dollars but I've also seen them go for chump change. This one's got a nice age to it, so it is valuable, just not valuable enough to break the bank. Yeah, 4,000 is a little strong, buddy. I am, um, I'm more in the 11, $1,200 range. Ooh. How about 3,000? No. How about 1,500? Oh, that kills me, 1,500. If you see the workmanship, it wasn't an amateur that carved this. And if it wasn't this nice, I would have offered you 40 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I understand. Yeah. And come on, give me, give me a better number, buddy. How about 2,500? I can't go any higher than 15, man. I really can't. That's a shame. I really wanted to sell it, but I can't part with it for that price. So. All right, well, have a good day. Thank you very much. Appreciate your have time. Have a good day, Good to sir. see you, sir. Always a pleasure. 16? Sixteen fifty? Sixteen hundred. You're breaking me at that point. Got a deal. All right, deal. I will write you up. The sixteen hundred dollars is a lot lower than I really wanted to get, but I've been around long enough. I, I know how to negotiate pretty well. 